Hi everyone, in this video I want to show you one of the newest features which is syncing your time blocks to the calendar. And here I have already opened no plan on the left with my schedule and you can see also the time blocks which I have created in the timeline and on the right side is the Apple calendar pointing to today with the events which are already synced from the time blocks. And I also show you how it looks like on iOS and how you can configure it. So I've created already the time blocks here. Usually I uh, type up a checklist item with the plus space and then you can name it, for example, dinner. And then I drag it here into the timeline. And if you drop it here, you can select at time block or press command. And you see it will be automatically created here in your calendar as well. And if you change it, it will be synced right away to your calendar. And this is a one-way sync, so you can only change it in no plan and will be updated in the calendar, but not vice versa. So you can't change the events here so that they update in no plan. So this is a restriction at the moment. And uh, here is how you can, so this is how it looks like if you change the time blocks or create them. And you can set it up by clicking on this settings button here, top right of the calendar. So there you have a new option called create events. In here you can select a calendar to sync your time blocks to. So you can turn it off by selecting none and uh, by default you will have uh, option no plan time blocks. So this will create an iCloud calendar called no plan time blocks. And if you click on none it will also delete this calendar for you. Or you can select an existing calendar and this is now segmented here by source. So Google, iCloud and if you have other calendars like Exchange it will be also listed here. And you can select the calendar you want to work with. From experience the iCloud calendars are syncing the fastest and the cleanest. It takes a little bit more time to sync the events uh, to Google Calendar and Exchange and so on. So don't expect that it syncs it in real time. And um, let me show you how it looks like if we turn it off. So then it will, no plan will remove this custom calendar for you. So it's gone here from the list and also the events are gone. So then I turn it on again. And you see the events appear shortly after and here is the new calendar. You just need to set it up once on your Mac and then it will be synced through iCloud to your other devices, iOS devices, also other Mac devices if you have. So you don't need to set it up on all devices separately, but I'll show you how you can set it up on iOS as well. So let me open up my iPhone. Okay, so here's my iPhone. I have already opened uh, the same note and you see the time blocks and to configure or open up the timeline you have to tap the bottom right on the calendar icon here and we can make it a bit bigger okay so you see the time blocks here and to configure this there is a settings icon at the top right so I'll tap on it and here you see similar settings like send notifications and create events and you can see there is already a check mark for no plan time blocks and you can turn it off by tapping on none. And the other calendars are grouped into, in this case, Gmail, iCloud and another Google calendar. So here on my iOS device, the source is called Gmail, not Google. So it can happen that your uh, that the sources, the calendar sources on your iOS devices are named differently from your Mac. But Noplan will still try to match them correctly. So here we have the two Google calendars I have saved. And they match the same as on Mac. Just the source name is a little bit different. So now if I check off something here, like Focus 1. And we come back to macOS. You see it's synced it here already. But it takes a little bit more. Ah, you see it already synced it also to the iCloud calendar. And we can also open the iCloud calendar on my iPhone. And here it is how it looks, looks like. So I do the same now on Mac or I just uncheck it again. So then the check mark should disappear. 
and the check mark on the iPhone should also disappear within seconds or sometimes minutes, you see, it just happened. So this was iPhone. Uh, some more details about how the time blocks or the events here work. So you can tap on them inside the calendar app. And um, so it's useful to sync it to uh, the calendar app of your choice. If they support the same calendars, they will show it. Or also in the web interface, if you use Google Calendar, for example, or Exchange and so on, you will see the events there. And then you can basically block your schedule so other people can't um, uh, book events or book meetings in the same time or you just want to use it to have the extra features of the calendar uh, apps for example it will send you also an alert so notification when the event begins which you'll see then uh, on all your devices or you can see it in the widgets of your calendar apps which is also very useful and um, in the notes of the events you'll see uh, some text here which helps Noplan identify to which time block the event belongs and in the URL field you will see also a callback so you can click on it from whatever uh, calendar app you use and then it will open up Noplan and highlight the time block inside your node automatically for you so you don't need to search for this if you want to check it off for example so you can tap on it will open no plan for you and you can basically check it off and this will sync it back to your calendar uh, within a few seconds. The sync takes a little bit longer with Google and other calendars so I recommend to use iCloud if you can. This works the best so far in my experience but um, because the sync is by design a little bit slower uh, for the other calendars which you can change though also in the uh, preferences in the calendar app or in the uh, system preferences I think. Okay thanks for watching if you have questions or suggestions how we can improve this and we are already uh, improving this for example we want to have the same colors so you see this calendar has a different color or the events have a different color than the time blocks here so this is something we will release in the next update um, for example, but if you have other suggestions, let me know in the comments or write us an email. Thanks for watching. Bye